presenter Phil Spencer lost both of his parents to a tragic car accident last week, and now, flowers have been left at the bridge where the TV host's elderly parents died on their family farm. Location, Location, Location Presenter Phil's parents were killed in a car crash after a tragic accident on the family farm saw them career into a river. The TV presenter's dad Richard, 89, and mum Anne, 82, died on Friday lunchtime when their car careered into a river. They were on their way to a pub for lunch when their car veered off the access road into a shallow tributary river running through their estate in Littlebourne, near Canterbury, Kent. Emergency services attended the scene, including an air ambulance. Richard and Anne were pulled from the car and taken to hospital. Sadly Richard was pronounced dead and Anne died later. A woman, in her 60s now revealed by Phil to be a carer for the couple, was also in the car and suffered minor injuries. In pictures obtained by Mail Online, the flower tribute could be seen left at the spot where the location, Location, Location Star's father, who was suffering from dementia, and his mother who had Parkinson's passed away when their vehicle toppled over the bridge and landed upside down in the river. Phil's brother Robert attempted to save their parents by using a penknife to cut off their seat belts and pull them from the river. However, both Anne and David were unable to be revived at the devastating scene. Phil remained silent online as the tragic news of his parents' passing broke. But he later took to his Instagram page to share a sweet photo of his parents and pay a heartbreaking tribute to them as he candidly shared details of the accident. The presenter's photo of his late parents showed his mother and father matching in blue striped tops as his mum Anne and dad Richard posed behind a half-opened stable door and smiled at the lens. The lengthy and heartfelt tribute in the caption began, Very sadly both of my amazing parents died on Friday. As a family we are all trying to hold on to the fact mum and dad went together and that neither will ever have to mourn the loss of the other one. Which is a blessing in itself. Phil explained his mum and dad had been on extremely good form before the tragic accident, despite his mum Parkinson's diagnosis while his dad had dementia. In a poignant and tear-jerking comment, Phil said how his mother had commented the week before their death that they will probably go together. He wrote, although they were both on extremely good form in the days before, hence the sudden idea to go out to lunch, mum's Parkinson's and dad's dementia had been worsening and the long-term future was set to be a challenge. So much so that mum said to me only a week ago that she had resigned to thinking now it looks like we will probably go together. And so they did. That was what God had planned for them, and it was a good plan. Phil then shared details of the tragic accident as he said the car had been traveling very slowly but toppled over a bridge on the farm drive and landed upside down into the water. He added how his beloved parents had no physical injuries and said he thinks the pair quietly slipped away. He wrote, the car, going very slowly, toppled over a bridge on the farm drive, upside down into the river. There were no physical injuries and I very much doubt they would have even fought it, they would have held hands under the water and quietly slipped away. Their carer was in the car and managed to climb out of a back window so the alarm was raised quite quickly. Phil added how, after the alarm was raised, his brother, Robert, pulled them out of the river but they were unable to be saved. He said, as many farmers do, my brother had a penknife and so was able to cut the seat belts, he pulled them out of the river but they never regained consciousness. 
although desperately sad and shocked beyond all belief, all family are clear that if there can ever be such a thing as having a good end, this was it. Speaking of his grief and shock over the heartbreaking incident, he added, It feels horrendous right now, but after almost 60 years of marriage, to die together on the farm they so loved will, I know, be a comfort in the future. Mom dad are together which is precisely where they would have wanted to be. Phil's location, location, location co-host Kirsty Alsop who spoke out shortly after the news broke, wrote underneath the post, such a brave and loving statement and so typical of you and your lovely family. So many people have you all in their thoughts and prayers. 30 While this morning presenter Craig Doyle wrote, Oh Phil, this is so very sad. My thoughts are with you and your family. May they rest in peace. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.